What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do, soul visionaries and potential soul visionaries out there. I am your host, Gerard Corn, and you are now rocking with the mobile version of the Soul Vision Powercast. You know that place where we keep it unfiltered and wrong. We talk about anything from the point of politics, we'll even talk about the things you might have heard or even saw. My brothers out there, man, I am thoroughly convinced that these dudes that are telling you that you have to have a certain amount of money in your bank account. You have to provide these women with this soft lifestyle. You got to be able to pay 100% of this woman's whole lifestyle in order for her to get your respect, her respect, her submission. That's false. That's BS. You know what I'm saying? That's what they had to do. See, they're telling you what they had to do in order to get the woman that they have. They're telling you that, hey, man, without these things right here, I'm not deserving of her. You feel me? You see what I'm saying? And guess what? If that's what they had to do to get they boot, so be it, bro. But not everybody and not every man, rather, has to go out there and do the things that you had to do in order to get that fake love. Because as soon as a lot of these brothers lose that little bread they got, their manhood will be diminished, and that's according to their own words. Their manhood will be diminished, and their relationships will be finished. That chick is going to be out of there, man. Boom. Boom. To the, off to the next dude that will do the very same thing that this guy was doing that is not able to do it now. Trust me, brothers. You do not want to put yourself in a position to have a woman that doesn't like you for you, but only likes you for what you can do. That's not what you want. You don't, you don't, you don't want to be in that position. And a lot of these dudes are in that position. And the ones that tell you that, that don't have a woman, see, they pander to these women because they want the money. But then deep down, they know they don't want that kind of woman themselves. That's why they don't have one. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of these dudes that tell you that are either married to a woman they know they can't have without having the money in their pocket, right? Or the, the dudes that, uh, the other kind of dudes that tell you this are the ones that's living single that wouldn't touch none of these women because they know they don't want to get a bread up to these bros. It's a dirty game out here, bro. But what I'm telling you out here is you got to look in the mirror. You got to understand your worth. You got to understand your value. You got to understand your boundaries. You got to understand what it is you will and will not take. And you got to stand on it. But I'm going to tell you this. I don't care how much money you have in your pockets or whatnot. If you got options, that puts you in a different category. Because a lot of men don't have options. You know? A lot of men don't have options. But you can create options. You can create options. Stop telling the universe one that you gotta chase women, and you gotta chase money. Hell, don't even chase drinks. You know what I'm saying? Because the universe will take it as when you say, hey, I'm gonna chase this woman down, I'm gonna, no matter what it, I'm gonna chase, chase, chase. Well, the, the universe will make sure that this woman just remains elusive to you, just like money. With anything, you gotta create that situ situation in which those things are attracted to you. But do it for yourself. If you're gonna if you're gonna go out there and create money and create a way to get money, get it for yourself. Don't get it to attract a woman. You know what I mean? Don't ever do anything to make somebody that otherwise wouldn't like you like you. Don't do that. Come on, man. You're gonna play yourself in the long run. You know, Brother Will Smith should be a shining example of what not to be in a relationship. See, when these brothers tell you that if you got a certain amount of money, right, and you provide a certain lifestyle, these women will automatically just submit to you. Brother, we looking at Will Smith who probably got more money than most of us all put together. You know what I'm saying? But he don't get no respect from the little chick that he with. A dead man gets more respect than this brother, and he's not, this dead man is not providing nothing for her. That dead man has her heart, her mind, and her spirit. Understand, brother, it's not, it's not what you carry in your pocket <laughs> that 
that earns your respect is how you carry yourself. Reach.